Hi everyone, my name is Rosemary, founder of TechAble Assistive Technology. For the individuals who have difficulty with mathematics, today I'd like to show Microsoft Math Solver app, which is also available to use online with a web browser. I used to introduce Microsoft Mathematics software, however, it only works on Windows operating system and Microsoft stopped updating it since the last version, which is version 4, that was released in 2011. And Microsoft Mathematics software is still available to download and use on Windows operating system from Microsoft website. At the end of 2019, Microsoft released a free standalone Microsoft Math Solver app for both iPhone and Android phone users. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. Okay, let's get started. So this is the Microsoft Math Solver app. Um, you can download it for free from either App Store or from the Google Play Store. I'm going to use my Galaxy Android phone today, so I've already downloaded this app from Play Store and installed on my phone. So let me open this. And when you open it, if you look at the top, um, you will see scan, draw, and type. So the scan will let you take a picture of the math problem. And then the draw will let you write down the problem and type will let you type the problem. So I'll go over one by one. So let's start with the scan. So let me take a picture of a problem on a piece of paper. And it scans the problem and writes on the screen, as you can see here, and then solves it immediately. So if I tap, if I scroll down, and if I tap this view solution steps, You can see um, the step-by-step -step solution of how to get to the answer. Okay. And then in here, if you tap this sound button, you can even listen to the solution steps to get to the answer. So I'm going to tap Play. Steps for solving linear equation. Subtract 3.9 from both sides and equal. Okay, so I'm going to go back. And then if you scroll down, it also shows you some videos here which can help you to understand that question, um, how to solve that question. And then it also shows many useful information related to the problem that it just solved. And if you look at all the way to the bottom, there is also share button so if you tap this, you can share the solution of this problem by sending a link to a friend. Okay, and let me hit the back button to go back. And then this time, let me try the draw button. So I'm going to tap draw. And then here, I'll write a problem. Let me write 3x plus 5 equals 
1. So you can see that while I'm writing down here using my finger, it shows what I wrote on top of the screen. So after I'm done with writing, I'm going to press tap this solve button. And again, it solves the problem immediately. And then if I tap view solution step, it shows the step-by-step -step solutions to take me how to get to the answer. And then if you scroll down, it also shows a graph, graph of this equation here so if I tap this expand button top here from here I can even explore the graph so I can tap any of this graph and then it will give me the exact point so I can explore inside the graph and then let me go back by tapping the back button then if I keep scrolling down, you can take the quizzes of the questions, problems that are similar to what I just wrote down. And also videos of how to solve this type of problems and many other useful information related to the question that I just wrote. Okay, so let me tap the back button. And then this time, let me use this type button. So let me tap it. And then I'm going to type um, equation using this calculator. So you can see this simple calculator shown here. But if you tap this button with three dots, it will take you to a scientific calculator. And then if you tap this button one more time, it switch to a keyboard. And then if you tap it one more time, it will take you back to the basic calculator. So I'm going to type 2x squared plus 4x equals 50. So I'm going to type 2 and then x is right here. So if I tap it, it will type x. But let me erase it. If I tap and hold this x button, you can see x, y, z, the different variables shows appear so from if i tap and hold i can choose either y or z the different variable so if i choose y it will type y but i'm going to erase it and then let me just put x and then to type squared i can press this button which shows square but again if I tap and hold this button you can type different power by if I just choose this one I can type five fifth power or sixth power or I'll just type square so you can type different number and then 2x squared, and then I'm going to type plus 4x equals 50. And then again, I'm going to hit this solve button. So here, um, it shows what I typed, 2x squared plus 4x equals 50. And then it solves the problem immediately. 
but this time uh, you can see uh, it solves this problem using two different methods so it's so you can solve it using steps using the quadratic formula and then another one you can also solve it um, for completing the square so let's look at the using the quadratic formula so that's selected and then i'm going to tap this view solution steps and then scroll down and then it shows how to solve this equation using quadratic formula so down here and then if you go back and then choose steps for completing the square now it shows the step by steps how to get to the solution uh, by completing the square okay and same thing if you tap this sound button you can listen to the solution steps for completing the square quadratic equations such as this one can be solved okay. by completing the and then let me tap this and go back okay so if you scroll down um, same as the previous question you'll see the graphs of this equation that i typed in and then also you can take quiz which will show you start the similar questions that i just typed in okay i'm gonna exit out and then if you keep scrolling down you'll see videos that explain the quadratic formula and then you know um, help, which can help you to understand how to solve this type of problem and then all other information they can that are related to the question that i typed in as i mentioned at the introduction microsoft math solver is also available to use from a computer by going to its website so let me open google chrome and then go to microsoft math solver website the address is math.microsoft.com english because um, microsoft math solver is also available in other languages so uh, for english uh, um, you need to type en here and then if in here you can type um, a math problem using a keyboard of a computer or if you look here there is um, this calculator button so if i click you'll be able to see the calculator the algebra one and then you can change it to different like calculus or other um, buttons so i'll stay with algebra and then so let me type um x minus 18 equals 54 and then um same as the app th this is the solve button so after you type in your equation hit this solve button and then it solve the question the the equation you type in immediately and then again here view solution steps so if i click it shows 
the step by step um, solution steps to how to get to the answer. And then here, um, if you press the sound button, you can listen to the, the steps. Steps for solving linear equation. Add 18 to both sides. X equals 54 plus 18. I'm going to stop and then go back. And if you scroll down, again, the graph for the equation I type in. And then you can also take quiz with similar equations that I typed in. And then you can see different videos that explains how to solve this type of question or um, to understand the concept of a linear equation, etc., and all other um, useful information that are related to the equation that I typed in. And then um, similar to Math Solver app, um, you can also send the link to here. So um, you can also um, send it the link to yourself or your friend uh, to look at the solution steps and uh, um, all the other information again. As you saw in this video, Microsoft Math Solver is very powerful and useful tool. And it can be beneficial to not only those individuals who have difficulty with math, but also anybody who needs help with solving math problems and learning math. Okay, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching.